guys, it's me, Tara, with Pepper Scale. Welcome to my sizzle reel, where I give you a hot sauce review in three minutes or less. Today, we're talking mule sauce by Sticker Mule. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't Sticker Mule a company that makes, like, stickers? Yep, and now they make hot sauce. It packs a medium heat punch and is also chock full of a long list of fresh ingredients. So let's uncap Sticker Mule's very first hot sauce. So it has a very slight vinegar tang at the top before the sweetness from those red bell peppers and the brown sugar hit you right before the very decent heat kick from three very fiery peppers. You'll be able to taste the citrusy sweet side of those halves mixed in with that sting from those scotch and ghost peppers. And there's also a faint taste of ginger here, which kind of helps to clear your palate before you go in for another bite. There's a great reason why this sauce's first ingredient is red bell peppers. It gives it a nice, sweet, fresh taste and also adds an acidic side, which blends really well with all the rest of the ingredients. So the ingredients are red bell pepper, distilled vinegar, onions, pure cane sugar, brown sugar, red habanero pepper mash, holokia pepper mash, yellow scotch bonnet pepper mash, lemon juice, garlic, ginger root, xanthan gum. Their mash consists of the whole peppers mixed with salt, so it really brings out the full flavor and heat of each and every one of those three fiery peppers. And somehow this sauce gives you a taste of three of the hottest peppers around without having you running for the milk cart. And the sodium rings in at 20 milligrams per teaspoon. And the brown sugar adds a really nice forgiving sweet side, which blends really well with those three fiery peppers. So it makes this sauce a little more welcoming. This also isn't too watery, even though it comes in a dasher bottle. Now I think the dasher bottle is perfect for this sauce due to the heat level. So this has a medium kick that will hit you mid bite and sometimes surprise you on the back end. And that's depending upon how much fresh pepper you get per bite. So since this is is packed full with fresh ingredients, it's important to give it a good shake before you try it out. So the heat will linger around on the front end for a couple of minutes, but it's nothing too terrifying and it dissipates within a couple of minutes as well. They had just a touch of the Holokia pepper to give this its mule kick and unmatched flavor. Not a lot of sauces mess around with one of the hottest peppers around, but mule sauce did and they made it a success. So this is the perfect sauce for pizza, chicken, eggs. I also found that it gave my veggie dish a nice citrus kick, which made me eat more broccoli. So I'd say that is a win. I love their label showing a mule kicking back, showing you what's waiting for you inside, which is a real kick in the butt due to three fiery peppers and a delicious flavor to back it up. It is sure to leave your taste buds intrigued because this is a one of a kind hot sauce. This delivers on the sweet heat side, but is also made by Vinny, which is one of the most charming chefs you'll ever come to know. Go watch those videos, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. To read the rest of my review, go to pepperscale.com and I will see you on my next sizzle reel.